Good evening, friends around the world. I'm Kat Kabira, and this evening I would love to talk to you about jealousy. Um, by the way, you might be able to hear some temple sounds in the background. So, I'm curious how comfortable you are with being jealous. Is it something that, that you acknowledge happens to you? Is it something that you feel ashamed about? And the reason why I ask is that you know, while I, I usually don't consider myself a jealous person, I found myself um, just a few days ago where I was like, wow, you know, I'm, I'm jealous. And usually I feel really ashamed about that. Like I don't want to be a jealous person. I, I don't want to, you know, I want to be someone who is really supportive and, and happy for other people. And so I, I feel like, oh man, you know, there's like a, a character flaw if I actually feel jealous. But I've, I've reflected upon those times that I felt jealous in the past. And how can we start to use jealousy as a tool for growth, as opposed to just something that we feel ashamed about and try to like secretly manage, but it's kind of always there. I remember I had a friend years ago um, that who I just adored everything about her, fabulous, amazing yoga teacher, a great healer. And, you know, there was always this like little weird energy between us for a couple of weeks. And finally, when we were hanging out one day, you know, she finally admitted to me that she was jealous of me, which I have to admit I was, I was shocked by because I admired her so much and I, I couldn't understand why she would be jealous of me. Right. And, and yet just by her acknowledging it, as opposed to how she was kind of pretending it wasn't there, but it was like this little undercurrent that was a little bit uncomfortable, that actually helped it dissolve. Because immediately we could engage in a dialogue where she saw my reaction and, and, and I just started kind of gushing. She wasn't, she wasn't saying it to like try to get any sort of compliment, but just by my response, you know, she was starting to see, wait a minute, like she's got hella value. Right. And and part of her jealousy was that she actually wasn't seeing herself. She completely was dismissing who she was, what her strengths were, you know, what her gifts were and and only focusing on what she was lacking and going into comparison. And so that also helped because, you know, by acknowledging the jealousy that also dissolved it and it actually wasn't there anymore. And there was just mutual admiration and support. So it actually can be helpful, even though it's, it's such a vulnerable thing to actually admit, you know what, like I'm noticing that I feel jealous right now. Another way to play with it though, and this is where I personally find it really helpful, is if I'm finding myself feeling jealous, it's usually something that I've denied myself. Um, and, and one example is, uh, oh, I was 24 and a friend of mine was, had just come back from like traveling the world. And I had, had planned on like, okay, I'm going to stay in Boston for two years, you know, and really like hone my yoga career and then I'll travel the world again. And that was tough because I, I'd been used to traveling since I was 15, like and going to all these places. And and I noticed that as she was talking about her trip, you know, I, I, I like pretended to be happy for her, but underneath I was so jealous. And, and I sat with myself, you know, when, when we parted ways, I, I sat with myself and I was like, okay, what, what's really going on? Um, you know, there's jealousy, but what's underneath this? And I realized, oh my God, like, I just want to travel. Like I'm not allowing myself. I, I'd put a certain time limit and, and there was a part of me that was like, it, it's time to go, you know, and I actually did. I, I set, I, I started to set, you know, my, my career in motion after that. So sometimes jealousy can be helpful because it's, it's like a dream that you're denying yourself. And the other part of jealousy, and, and this is where it, I, when I was reflecting on this earlier is I was, I have, uh, I have two sisters and two brothers and, um, and my, when I was born, 
um, I got to be the baby for like the first almost seven years. And I had, you know, siblings that were already older. And I was very territorial of my mother. And my poor older sister, who was 11 years older than me, um, you know, like could never just like hang out with my mom or, or cuddle or anything because I would just go in and like butt my way in. And it was like, no, this is my mom. Um, and I know I'm not making a video about being territorial or possessive, um, but jealousy and possessiveness, you know, that shows up in relationships. And, and underneath that though, along with just, you know, me being a domineering child, I, I find when we start to feel jealous in relationships, it's actually because there's a, a chord that's being struck in us where we feel insecure and we're really scared that we're not loved. You know, we're really nervous that, or, or not more than nervous, just like deeply threatened and feeling insecure. Like, well, if, if someone else gets the attention or love, there's nothing left for me. And so that, that's an interesting one, you know, and, and, and jealousy comes up, you know, especially as adults, that will come up in, in you know, friendships, but also in relationships. And, and it's also that we need to be able to reassure ourselves that, um, you know, love isn't meant to be just with one person. Like we're here to initiate in the, the, the love of everything, you know, we're here to be loved by everything and to love. I mean, we don't have to like everyone, but, um, you know, and we don't have to be liked by everyone, but that essence of love, you know, was never meant to just come through one person. And so it, it, it can trigger a very, a much younger response in us that we're not even aware of. And because the feeling's so uncomfortable, we don't even usually let ourselves explore it because it's like, ah, oh, you know, it's either we get jealous and we, we react on it or we, we quickly try to hide it. And so kind of like, how do we start to surf the, the feeling of it? Of like, ooh, there's actually something really cool here underneath that. Oh, I, I just need, I need to start to reassure myself, you know, of my own value. And the other place where we'll get jealous is, is in work situations. And that can trigger also that fear underneath. So it's something that we need to learn to be able to support ourselves on, you know, that fear of I'm not enough, you know, oh, look what everyone else is doing. Like, oh, I'm not enough. And it's either, you know, an indication like, okay, it's time to take some action. Or it's like, it's just, is that story of I'm not enough and I'm always comparing myself to others. Is that just a, a pattern that happens? And you know, I, I know I'm talking about things that it's uncomfortable to acknowledge, but the reality is, is that these emotions just kind of, let me do it better. These emotions move through us like waves. And, you know, it's not like we're like, you know what? I'm going to decide to be jealous right now. No, it doesn't work like that. It's, it's more like suddenly it's like, oh, fuck, I'm, I'm noticing that I feel jealous right now. Okay. So, you know, whether we're talking jealousy or other emotions that you might be uncomfortable with, you know, how can you allow space for yourself to actually feel them? And, and part of it too, I mean, I, I, I kind of gave you like a mental process around it, but you want to be able to feel the, the actual sensations in your body, you know, and, and sometimes it's like they, these feelings that we have, they're just kind of wrapped up in so much other stuff. And, and if you can just feel where they reside or where they're activated and just through the awareness and feeling, they will start to move. Sometimes I set a timer for five minutes and I'm like, okay, you know, like let's, let's just watch this progress. And there's wisdom in it. You know, if you, if you ride the wave to the end and that does take practice, sometimes it's like, ah, too much. But if you ride the wave to the end, then there's usually like a little a gem or gift in there. Um, there's a Tibetan practice called dancing with your demons. And the way I kind of interpret that when I ride the waves in my own body is sometimes like my, my, there's pain in my body that's so activated and it's usually going to be like sadness or anger or jealousy. And if I can feel the energy in my body and, and hang out with it, it will start to morph and move. And I, I don't ever know where it's going to go. So you're not controlling it. You're not pushing it out. You're not like, oh, this is what needs to happen to you. 
you know, you're really witnessing it and, and noticing, okay, like you, you'll get surprised by, by what wants to happen. And if you can hang right to the end and, you know, I, when I first started feeling all my sensations, that didn't happen initially, but if you can ride it to the end, what's really cool is that it will take you on a journey and it will end up giving you this gift. Like there'll be this really potent message, you know, like that, that very pain actually is your power or your gift. And there's going to be a potent message about the very thing that you were missing or longing for. So I know I went on a little bit of a, an aside, but you know, it's a way to, this is a useful tool. So you can take out the labels around whatever your emotions are, because we can get too heady about it. And then it never processes it. You know, it's just all mental. And it's like, okay, how can I just ride my, my wave or ride the, ride the, the train of these sensations and, and see the transformation at the end. So going back whether it's it's jealousy or other emotions that you're uncomfortable with we are learning how to allow the totality of ourselves to run through our system the the totality of the universe and if you can start to when these uncomfortable feelings come up if you can be like all right i'm I'm not going to push you away and i'm not going to react right i'm just going to allow feel acknowledge and also just see like what's underneath because there's going to be a gift there what's underneath I'm sending you lots of love from Bali, and I will see you very soon. Bye.